And if you do plan on heading out to that event, we are going to be looking at some uh, nicer weather than what we saw earlier this afternoon uh, with some heavy rainfall and lightning. Now what we're dealing with is some patchy fog and that's going to be with us through the overnight. We also still have some showers that are building in as well. Here's a look at the event, though. If you are going to be heading out to King Fit Cake Fest, right before that is the family fun run. So if you want to get some negative calories before you start to eat those calories at King Cake Fest, that is the run for you at 830. Some fog and clouds around and also some light showers throughout the event, though, of King Cake Fest. We're looking at some patchy fog and mist. Otherwise, temperatures are in the mid to upper 60s. Lots of rain fell today across southeast Louisiana and coastal Mississippi at the New Orleans Airport. Over two inches of rain, which almost doubled what we've seen so far for the year at four and a half inches of rain across the area. Chalmette getting over three inches of rain there. Thibodeau, Slidell, Homa over two and a half inches and Gulfport over two inches of rain fell as well. And there's a little more on the way. We have some light showers continuing to move across southeast Louisiana and coastal Mississippi. More moderate rainfall here right near the Bay St. Louis area and Diamond Head along I-10 down toward the south. We're seeing some of that heavier rain now making its way closer toward Dulac and up toward Homa. So the shower activity is still moving off toward the northeast. We even have some light rain over toward the Kenner and Metairie area into the New Orleans metro. A cold front will continue to push all this moisture out as we go towards Sunday. It's why I'm expecting the weather to really start to improve and this dry air will move in as we go later into the day tomorrow. So here's a look at the forecast and we'll continue to see some shower activity through that early morning period. Notice we still have the cloud cover. I'm expecting some patchy fog that could lead to some light rain or mist kind of being persistent throughout the morning and early afternoon. Once the dry air starts to move in, we'll see this cloud cover thinning out and some clear skies will bring some cooler temperatures to start your week, but it will also bring the sunshine as well. And here's a look at the bigger picture of it, and we'll continue to watch all this moisture shifting over toward uh, more of the southeast in Alabama and the Florida panhandle, and our conditions will start to improve by Sunday afternoon and continuing for the rest of the day. Clear skies, unfortunately, not coming for the weekend, but it'll be there as you're heading back to work. For the next several days, we're looking at no rain chances, lots of sunshine, but it will carry that 30% rain chance through most of the morning tomorrow. Tomorrow. In addition to the rain, of course, I mentioned the patchy fog that's reducing visibilities across most areas this evening, and that'll be the case for your Sunday morning as well. So if you're heading out early, you could see some reduced visibility out on the roadways. So give yourself a little bit of extra time as you're heading out to church or the family fun run or any other events you may be taking part in for your Sunday. Things will start to improve, though, as we go into the afternoon. And again, especially as we go toward the work week, lots of sunshine, colder temperatures Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll start to see more rain chances arriving, unfortunately, as we go toward the next parade on Friday, but better weather for the weekend.